need to know, you need to know the backstory to why I don't like clowns. So I grew up in uh, Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I grew up in the projects now. That's not something they're working on. That's a finished product. <laughs> well, I know there's a lot of you don't know me. You've never seen my show. So you probably want to know. I don't want someone after the show exactly what kind of project was it really. Because you know out here in St. Michael, Abbotville, I'm a project manager. I can probably fix that for you. <laughs> so, I, I <laughs> Sometimes they don't know. And so I belonged to this Boys and Girls Club. I was, <laughs> I was five years old. This is a true story. I was five years old. Now I grew up in the inner city. I grew up, I was raised in an all-black family. No, that's, that's true. That's not a joke. No, I, I, I know, I've had people that, have, oh, I think he's kidding. He looks like one of Angelina Jolie's kids. <laughs> oh, that's true. And this is a true story. So I was at, it was a birthday party for a bunch of kids, children. It was a children's birthday party. And apparently, they invited clowns. Well, apparently, these two clowns were beefing. Uh, they were angry at one another. I don't know if y'all speak that language here. I forget I'm in Albertville, St. Michael's, the Twin Cities. <laughs> they were beefing. Now, so there's nothing like walking around the corner as a five-year-old kid and see a bunch of clowns throwing hands at each other. That I mean they were fighting. And, but what was weird, like I've seen a fight before, but what I, but when you're a clown, <laughs> and you got on big shoes, a big old red wig, and you got a smile on your face, and you beat somebody going, <laughs> <laughs> 